melisma, which is also often commonly called water plantain. And this is a wonderful healing plant used both in the West and in Eastern traditional Chinese medicine, where it's considered an incredible yin tonic. In the West, it's famous for, among other things, it's anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, diuretic properties. And we're gonna dive into just a few of the varieties that are commonly used medicinally. This is one of those that there's several species, and really many of them can be used interchangeably with a few little hitches here and there, so let's dive in. Broadleaf plantain, which is Plantago major, often considered a weed found in temperate regions of the world. It originated in Eurasia and then was brought by the Puritans to the New World because it was so highly respected for its medicinal properties. As we move forward, what we begin to pull out from the Alisma family is the Western variety, which is called Alisma subcordatum, also known as Southern or American water plantain, found in marshes and ditches. The Cherokee uh, used it for, as a topical healing uh, herb for treating wounds and bruises and swellings, ulcers. The Cree would use the um, stem base internally for digestive issues and bowel problems. Northern Alisma, northern water plantain, also known as Alisma triviale, is a western variety as well and it's identified with Canada, British Columbia, and that part of the world. Its bulbous base is edible, edible, and it has a strong flavor and it's considered best when it's dried and then cooked. The roots and leaves of another variety, Alisma plantago aquata, often called European water plantain, are sometimes said to be toxic. You need to dry them first and cook it, and then it's all right. So there's when you want to pay attention to the variety that you're using it. In China, in traditional Chinese medicine, most of Asia, the varieties, they will also use Alisma plantago aquata, but they're very fond of Alisma orientalis. And it is a famous herb considered to be a fantastic yin tonic, meaning it's going to be cooling and nourishing and moistening, tone, you know, help support kidney function, clear damp heat out of the system. And it's used either externally or internally in traditional Chinese medicine, that variety. Now, if you have a problem with fairies, as they sometimes do in Ireland, they call their water plantain, their alisma, Patrick's leaf, because it's considered to be a protector from unwanted fairy activity. So there you go, a little bit about alisma and some of the varieties that you might commonly stumble upon and want to make use of. Visit our website at whiterabbitinstituteofhealing.com to find out more.